Hello, welcome back to yet another episode of Eric the Car Guy. I get a lot of requests about engine performance issues, as you might imagine, because these are the things that leave you scratching your head, wondering what the heck it is, and many times you end up just throwing parts at it until you get frustrated and take it to the mechanic and they find out it's something really simple and then you're even more frustrated. So diagnosis, that's, that's key. You can't just throw parts at things, you have to diagnose them. And one diagnostic tool that you can use that's very effective is called a power balance test. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, in a gorilla style. Um, but there is also the capability on many late model vehicles to perform this test with like say a scan tool um, some more sophisticated scan tools have the ability, while you're sitting in the car while it's running, to cancel out cylinders one at a time and monitor the uh, different output of those cylinders as compared to the rest. Uh, basically, it's like this. The engine has a number of cylinders, whether it's three, four, five, six, eight, whatever, okay? And each one of those cylinders is designed to produce the same power. If it's unable to produce the same power, then that cylinder's down, so the engine might miss a little bit, or it might uh, have a check engine light, or you know, ex exhibit any number of symptoms. But basically, it's a result of the fact that one guy's not putting out. So you wanna make sure that all your cylinders can produce equal power. Uh, in order to make that determination, uh, there's this test. I mean, it's, it's been around for quite a while. It's quite a simple test. Uh, however, I, once again, it comes with a word of caution. On some vehicles, the ignition systems, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel out the ignition on the different cylinders to observe an RPM drop. Uh, on some ignition systems, however, they have a significant amount of voltage and more importantly amps. And you can get hurt, if not seriously injured, uh, as a result of this. So. Um, some, some vehicles make sure that you proceed with caution and use the proper tools and equipment to do this with. Uh, if not, you could end up on your butt or worse in the hospital. That said, let's have some fun. Yeah, it's like that's ever stopped me. Um, don't do this or you might catch on fire. <laughs> we like to live dangerously here at Eric the Car Guy. Dangerous. That's why we have disclaimers. All right, now I've gone ahead and removed the upper engine cover uh, to this uh, 2001 Odyssey. And the area of focus is going to be here. Uh, this engine, and this is the reason why I chose this, this car for this, this engine has individual coil packs per each cylinder. Uh, this is awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because uh, I can very safely just disconnect these connectors one at a time and perform my tests. If you've got like a set of coil packs or something, you could, you don't necessarily have to do this at the spark plug if you don't have access you can just as easily perform this test at the uh, coil packs themselves. So consider that. Uh, and, th and then there's also, oh, you know, I wish I had another one, but I don't now. I could show you a little trick with uh, little pieces of vacuum line that you can place in place of the uh, spark plug leads on the coil packs themselves. And you could take a test light and poke it against the vacuum line that's uh, causing the space between the uh, coil pack and the wire and you know, cancel out the cylinder safely and effectively, you know, come to think of it. But we're just going to show you how to unplug coil packs right now. Step one is going to be to start the engine. Now that the engine is running, disconnect the uh, connectors at the coil packs one at a time. And listen for the RPM to drop. When you plug it in, wait like a second before you move on to the next one. Now that was a good test since the engine, I don't know how well you could hear it, but the engine dropped by pretty much the same amount with everything that I unplugged. So when you unplug something, you're looking for the engine to be labored down. If you unplug something and nothing happens, that's the problem cylinder. So if you unplug one of the coils and the engine stays the same and you don't hear any change in RPM whatsoever, that's your affected cylinder. 
So let's demonstrate that right now. Now I've gone ahead and simulated a faulty injector on this cylinder. I just unplugged the coil pack and nothing happened. Now I'll do the one next to it. See how the RPM's dropping? And it doesn't drop here. You found the problem cylinder. It really is that simple. It's, it's just a matter of canceling it out cylinder by cylinder. A couple of things to note. You don't want to uh, disconnect it for too long uh, because what you'll do is with a lack of ignition on a, on a well-running cylinder is you'll be running raw fuel through that cylinder into the exhaust and down into the catalytic converter. Uh, so you don't want to do it for a long time, but you, you, as you can see, you don't need that much time. Um, once you've found your problem cylinder, then you can diagnose what's going on. You can find out if, if I were working on this and I found that, the first thing that I would check for is spark. I'd pull the coil pack out, I'd put my spark tester on the coil pack, and I'd check to see if I had spark on that particular coil pack. If I didn't, I'd replace the coil pack. If uh, I did have spark, then I might suspect a faulty fuel injector. And in that case, I would probably take a, uh, you know, my stethoscope or a screwdriver or some kind of equivalent and put it down to that, on that injector and see if I could hear it ticking. If it wasn't a fuel issue, then I might start looking for something like a vacuum leak or something particular to that cylinder. And if I couldn't find a vacuum leak, then I might look for a mechanical cause by performing a compression test or even better, a leak down test on that particular cylinder, suspecting something like a burned up valve uh, that, that wasn't sealing properly. Anyway, any number of things, but this, this will get you down the road to diagnosis. So if I tell you to perform a, a power balance test, this is what I'm talking about. Can cancel the cylinders one by one, no matter how many cylinders you have, and that's going to be where the real trick is, is trying to figure out how you're going to cancel those cylinders out. Once you've overcome that issue, if you have them real nice and easy like this to where all you have to do is unplug a coil pack, you're perfectly safe in doing that. Just don't do it for a long time. And uh, hopefully that will help you find the offending cylinder and thus be on the road to diagnosis. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. I'm hoping this information was helpful to you because it saves me from typing. You can always visit me at ericthecarguy.com and now Facebook and Twitter. Hi. Uh, so, as always, be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. But most importantly, have fun. And the staying dirty part, well, that's just fun to me. See you.